Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video I'm going to review a product that I have already done a review on but my initial review was very basic, it was kind of quick and I got some initial impressions that had me a little bit suspect about this particular product. The product that I'm going to talk to you about today is the Vargo Titanium Hexagon Alcohol Stove. Now when I say I was a little bit suspect with this product, the reason why I say that is because when I first used it, I had no idea what to expect out of an alcohol stove. It was my first time using one and I had some real basic first impressions, which is that basically this thing just chowed alcohol. I mean, I had no idea what to expect in terms of overall burn time, the amount of fuel that you need, and so I had some real preliminary ideas in my mind about what that would be like, but I didn't really know. So what I thought I would do is actually take this product out into the field, use it in a backpacking application, which quite frankly is really where you should be using this thing, and try to use it for what its intended purpose was to see how it would react. Now before I get into any of the footage, I basically have to say that at this point I honestly can't really recommend this product for a few reasons. Number one, it definitely uses a ton of alcohol. It has a really fast burn time. It chows through the alcohol super fast. It does not have any ability to vary the flame, so it's basically either on or off. Um, the flame that it produces is a little bit out of control and there are so many other options out there that are a much better solution that even though this is really relatively a pretty light solution, there are definitely other things that you could take into consideration that would be a better option in my opinion. So with that said, let's just take a real quick look at some of the footage that I took during my backpacking trip. Got the uh, Vargo titanium alcohol stove here. Give that a little try. So yeah, you unthread that and then you push it. It's like a button. Yep. And then yeah, it'll just... How much so you put in? I fill it till it like kind of... Here, hold on. The best way to do it is put that back in it. So get this level. Yep. Yep, get that level. And then put the triangle back in it. Put it, put the, put all that back in it. Okay. Yep. No, that goes in the top. Hold on. I'll, I'll set you up. So over here, Chris is going to use the same Keith Titanium pots. This is just a, I forget, I think it's a 1.2 liter maybe. Yeah, and then the uh, Vargo Titanium Alcohol Stove. So do me a favor, pull that off real quick. Yeah, so there you see the burner. And he's getting that going. I should probably get you uh, a cover for that so it'll cook quicker. But anyway, it's looking pretty nice good. Thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, actually Matt. That's the uh, Trangia bottle. Oh, yeah, that's oh, the you. actual Trangia. So you got the Trangia stove. That so, looks nice, actually. It's a, it wasn't a heavy bottle. Either. Oh, this? No. Uh, it's not bad. I like this setup because uh, this burner has actually a damper in it, so you can actually adjust how much alcohol comes out of it. So that's a pretty sweet setup. Yeah, you're right. What did you use? Unruly? Yeah. The unruly flame? It is a little bit. Totally just like wicking around the edge there. Yeah, I think this thing needs... That that stove needs a damper in there. I think it just burns way too much. It's a pretty big pot, too. I know. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Something to keep an eye on. It's not even boiling yet at all. No, it's, it's, it's starting yeah, to it's, a little bit. So that cover was a little tighter than you thought, huh? I would keep that on it. Yeah. Maybe yeah, cr put it at a little angle or something. I don't know. Yeah, it might be at least better. <laughs> so what happened, Chris? My uh, my stove ran out again. Again. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So you haven't even hit a boil yet. I was boiling for a minute. Nice, so you had a minute of boil. Alright, so we're going to go back to the trusted Zoxy stove. Alright, so here's the, uh, right behind you is that metal pan. Hold on one second. I'm going to get this thing. I'm going to drop this on. And it goes on like this. Right there. And then it just like indexes mm -hmm. into place. Now you're good. So you can put your pot on there. Yep. And then crank this on. There 
go. And it's got a little igniter. Hold on, hold that pot real quick. Got it. There you go. And if you're boiling, you might as well rip it. Nice. Oh yeah, you are boiling. Sweet. All right, so we can we can simmer down. Yeah, I was gonna say I was boiling a second ago. Yeah. So you were boiling. All right. So to be fair, that did get you to a boil. Oh yeah. But you ran out basically one and a half times filling that thing. Yep. And it ran out. Yep. All right. I mean that's a 1.2 liter pot. I think it's 1.2. I can verify it. Yes, a 1.2 liter pot. Not even full of water. I mean, you didn't even no. fill it halfway, right? Nope. All right. So that's working better? It's working better. It's also nice because it's not, because you can control the heat, you're not getting those bubble ups that you were getting on the other one. So it was like boiling over with the... Yeah, because it, it only had on. <laughs> oh, so, on 100%. Yeah. 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 Nice. Definitely a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A quick look at the Vargo Hexagon Titanium Alcohol Stove. So, as I mentioned, the cons definitely, in my opinion, outweigh the pros. And you can see that my friend Chris, who was using this, was also struggling to get a good boil going on a simple task, just simply cooking, um, trying to get some water to boil for his pasta. And, you know... It's always me doing the talking. I really wanted to take this system, give it to somebody else to use it, and so that I could see how somebody is using it, kind of observe from a distance, and generate some opinions based on what their feedback is and what their user experience was like. So again, as I mentioned, I really don't think I could truly recommend this product. I personally would suggest if you're looking for an alcohol stove, after watching some people using the Trangia systems, I feel as though the Trangia stove is a much better solution. It has a damper, has the ability to kind of fine tune the overall flame so that you don't end up with the unruly flame. And overall, it's a very nice and compact system. It is a little bit heavier. It has some additional features, but that in some ways is also enhancements when you look at what the Trangia system has to offer versus the Vargo. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.